Peace in everyone! Welcome to the Dragon Slumber Show. Today we're playing a very special game. And I wanted to show you guys the intro. This is a game by Arthur Games. Music by Darkman007. This is Super Cyborg. Um, this is a game that I found on my Steam live in my Steam library. I had not seen uh like it was not donated to me. I think it came from a bundle from way behind uh, way before. Uh, the game was released on July 8th, 2015. It's available now on Steam for the price of $5. Um, and I, I had not originally intended to play this game. I'm gonna do a new game immediately. I had not originally intended to play this game. But, uh, I, um, you know, I needed a break at some point uh, while working. I started to play uh, for about 5 minutes and I went, No, I need to stream this. This is amazing. So, okay, we're diving into the game. You can select between Cyborg V1 or Cyborg V2, which are, quite frankly, nearly the same. Uh, the, the differences are, are very minimal, very disappointing. But that's actually fine. Um, you'll see why. So, you can, you can choose your colors and you can kind of customize everything, which is nice. Uh, we're gonna have, I don't know, a uh, purple gun and, uh, like, big red lips. And I don't know, green highlights. We're gonna go. We're gonna go green. I know, I know that uh, Josh was in the audience and he likes green. So there you go. Green, green alien with uh, it's Piccolo. It's Piccolo with his yellow uh, patches from Dragon Ball. And we're gonna go normal. Uh, semi-transparency and color blending, I'm going no, and smooth rotation, I'm going no. Uh, I felt, at, when I played for the five minutes, I felt that these were not good. Uh, I, well, they're, they're fine, uh, they're not problematic, I think it looks better NES style. Level one. So I'm not saying that this is Contra. I'm not saying that this is Contra. But this might be Contra. Like, it's 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 very Contra. It has amazing music. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna- I'm gonna have to quit. I feel- um... Okay, yeah. I'm gonna have to quit. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll- I'll try to rush through, through the opening part. So the reason why I- there's one thing that I need to... There you go. Hold. Um... Yep. Perfect. There's an alternate fire? I didn't even realize. Okay. So the reason why is because- well, okay. I can't change the, the controls in-game. That's actually not cool. Uh, guys. Give me the ability to change the controls in-game. Please. Um... And I- I absolutely need to, uh, yeah, I need to redo this. Very sorry. So the reason why I'm actually changing it is because I, um... I don't remember. Purple, red lips, and yellow. Uh, the reason why is because you can lock your character to shoot in a direction. And um, I, I prefer it to toggle. So, uh, so you can, the, the default is to toggle. Uh, so you press a button and he's locked into that, that direction until you uh, press it again. I, I want it to be a, a button that you hold, basically. Okay, we're, we're now we're diving into this. This is more Contra than some Contra games? Yes, absolutely. I mean, it's just... It's the perfect game. I mean, it's the perfect Contra game. At first glance, I, I got... I got to the first boss and I... I immediately stopped. There's some... Oh, it's not here. 
Um, learning the levels is definitely worthwhile. We're gonna... I'm gonna give a little more space to the, for the music because the music is just fantastic. That thing killed me so many times. And, you know, really it could not be more Contra, I guess. Down to the lives at the top left. The spread. Like, even the enemies that jump off, uh, jump off ledges, like, this is... You know, I don't know what, where the line stands between a homage and a ripoff, but, I mean, I, I, I like this. I have not tried entering the Konami code. True, I'll have to try it out. This is grotesque, big nose thing. So, okay, I during my my quick playthrough, this is where I got and by the way, this is the first time I reached the boss um, without losing a life. You know, it's contra. It's uh, it's con it's all about learning the levels and learning the patterns and everything. So, there you go. Oh, I'm all, almost dead without dying. I just unlocked uh, an achievement. So the first time I actually quit the game before earning the achievement, which is interesting. Level 2. Oh yeah, there's an alternate fire. So I guess the, the alternate, I, hmm, I don't know that I like where the alternate fire is. Um, uh. Oh, I got lucky. This is very reminiscent of... I mean, this is not Contra 1. Uh, this is... Whoa! This is very uh, Contra 3. This level specifically is very Contra 3. Um, and uh, the previous level was Contra 2. Uh, the second or third level. I kind of wish I could fire and uh, alt fire at the same time, which might be too powerful, but ah, no, no, no. Okay, well, sometimes no amounts of, of saying no will save your life. Stop. Okay, so you can... I mean, charging is super fast. I'm, I was doing it wrong the first time. Ugh. It's not easy. Um, it's not easy in a good way. 
You know, Contra has always been about learning patterns, and uh, I, I'm, I'm actually fine with that. It, it, you know, it's it's why I crap. It's uh, it's why I'm good at um, Cuphead because Cuphead is also about learning patterns, and you know, out of all of my gaming skills, I think learning and understanding patterns is uh, my biggest strength. I'd say. There isn't a limited amount of continues, and I know that um, there, you know, I I saved this the uh, at this place, so if I I, I could qu stop my game and restart directly here, which is awesome. Why? What the hell? Maybe I needed to crouch. I think I needed to crouch to kill that. The first time I managed to kill her, so... This is five dollars. Uh, did I mention it was five dollars? It's five dollars. So, for anyone who's looking for a, um, a Contra-like experience, I mean, this is, this is absolutely perfect. Yes, it does have couch co-op, and it I saw in land play, so it it, it might have online co-op as well. Okay, just has a shit ton of health, I guess. Oh, crap. I kind of wish there was a um, strap move. Like, be able to, to shoot while uh, moving... Shoot diagonally while moving. Um, you can just lock your position. Oh, come on. Very tough. Okay, so the charging is not worth it. Except that there's a second a second level, I guess. Maybe the second level is worth it. I guess it is. Okay, so yeah, it's I was doing the 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 short charge, which is not worth it, but the long charge might be. I think I should st stick with the laser here.
Also, this charges a lot faster than everything else. Mm. Mm. Okay, no! Okay, permanent screen jog. It is, I mean, I, lo I love to praise myself, but it is very tough. <laughs> I am, uh, I am definitely struggling. I'm struggling, but you know what? I think there are infinite continues. So, oh no. So that's fine. Just gotta move forward a little slower. And my key bindings are terrible right now. I don't know what this is made of. Um, it was made in 2015. Ah, okay. Well, that's... Ooh, my bullets explode. I like this boss. I like this boss that kind of escalates as you destroy more and more pieces of it. In a very natural way. Okay. And then it becomes warped. The boss from uh, Mario 2. Oh no! Oh no, okay. Woo. Oh no! Well, okay. I died. Yes, this game was made in RPG Maker. Absolutely. Gold star. Didn't know that I give, gave gold stars on this stream, right? Well, I do. The laser is the better weapon. It's the it's clearly the stronger the stronger weapon. Also, I don't think that charging is worth it. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, I don't know. I I think charging is kind of oh, there's nothing happening. Well, you can charge me in the meantime, and that's about it. It's not worth. The, uh, the, the rapid shot of every weapon is just so much more powerful. <sighs> Which is a shame. Um, I, I like the idea of charging. Uh, you know, I, I always value risk-reward. And... Um, it was a nice idea, but it, it probably... I'm guessing that during development it was too powerful, so they had to kind of tone it down a little bit. Um, yeah, oh, come on. This is level 2. This is level 2. I think it's important to mention that. I didn't actually think I could kill it. Oh, come on!
You know what I miss? I miss in a in a um, Contra Three where you could have two weapons and kind of switch between the two. Um, because when you died, you could presumably save one, which which is what I wish I could do right now. Um, this is normal. I'm guessing that when you defeat normal, you unlock hard. Uh, but there is an easy mode as well. Oh, and uh, I mean, I feel like I this shouldn't be a thing that I have to mention. But um, no complaints about menu... Mostly no complaints about menu navigation. Because uh, you can do it with the, uh, the thumbstick. As it should be. You can do it with both. Okay. Uh, no, the laser. Okay, well, we're we're, we're running, we're running away. Uh, the reason FF15 menus don't use the thumbsticks the same code as the map menus. Yeah, exactly. I, I mean, you, you're. I'm. I'm sure it's something like that. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it was something like that. Still no excuse. But I, but I mean, even beyond Final Fantasy 15, I, I feel like last last week I had a few games that I played that were. Um, that didn't allow the thumbstick to uh, to navigate menus. Okay, so this weapon is super strong. Come on, boss. Come on, I can defeat this. Ah. So I'm trying to kind of spread my damage equally as much as I can. Because uh, I want to make the uh, the end part a little easier on myself. Hey, level two down. Du -du 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 -du. It's not that I hate the D-pad. I'm fine with the D-pad. If I were on using a PlayStation 4 controller, I would use the D-pad. It's the position of it. I always use what's leftmost because that's what's more uh, comfortable on my in my hands. Uh, and also, I use a 360 controller, and the D-pad is the worst thing. It is unacceptably terrible. No parallax on uh, on the background. Uh, which is weird, because I think other stuff earlier was parallaxing. I kind of want to see a, uh, a speedrun of this game, just because, you know, it, it's basically an NES game, so, 
And NES games tend to be really ah no why? Well, doesn't and all that for invincibility that I'm probably not gonna use all that much. I wish it wasn't invincibility. I wish uh, I wish it was one extra hit of armor. No, oh, no. I guess that's that would be called a life. Oh no, it could be one extra hit, and you don't lose your your weapon. In that case, oh, no. it's not easy. Did I mention that it's not easy? And it also has the Contra thing where, oh, you're on a slant where you can't attack downwards. This is more than 8-bit. Well, 8-bit means different things, though. Ah. I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try the, uh, the Konami code. Oh. Uh, well, okay. I don't think it did anything. Very Genesis y? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. It's better to load than to, uh, well. Mm, I don't know. It might be better to load than to uh, continue because I continue with my same weapon. Well, I'm doing a little bit better than my first time. Oh my god! And by, oh my god, I mean, oh my god, I'm awesome. I didn't notice there's a face in that thing. Just at the end too. I really wonder how many enemies, uh, how many, uh, how many levels there are. What the hell? Well, that's certainly a boss. No, okay. I was so close to not de dying. Okay, one one last one last attempt. I, I I have to... I have to finish level 3. We're finishing level 3, and then we're gonna stop it there. But as I mentioned... Oh, screw it. As I mentioned, uh... 
I mean, especially since there's a saving fun function. I can dive into this game and play for like five minutes. I, I did progress, I didn't do progress. Either way is fine. I would rather do pro uh, make progress, but... Um, you know, at least I don't feel like I've actually lost time. The levels are super short. You know, it's, it's my kind of game in uh, many ways. I'm not exactly doing my my best run here. The levels I think are are a lot shorter than Contra though. I think. Kevin is addicted. I love discovering new Nintendo games. And, I mean, this is the closest that I... That I get to do. That, that second bullet sucks, man. No! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Well, I died. Um, if you like old, old school style games, Archer Games has done a terrific job. Uh, and, you know, Darkman007 is being credited as uh, the guy who made the soundtrack, so uh, let's a huge shout out to him as well because I love the soundtrack in this. Everything is great. This is exactly the type of game that I love. Super Cyborg, donated to me by no one. Guys, we all have like hundreds and hundreds of games in our uh, Steam libraries, and um, you know sometimes it's worth. I, I shouldn't say that as a dev, but sometimes it's worth looking into your libraries and going, oh yeah, that game. I wonder where it is, and sometimes you can find a gem. So that's I feel like that's what I did with this game. Five dollars for those who don't have it. It's on Steam. Go check it out. My name is Kevin Jaguer, and I'll talk to you guys next game. Peace out. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. You know the drill. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check out some games I've made, like Arrow Light Core. Alright, until next time, peace out!